Hey, Sean here from speedcubeview.com. We have an unbox. First. First. Anyways, we, we have an unboxing and this three by, is this the best cube? There is no best cube. They all have their own qualities and different things about them. Which is better, this or the GTX F7? Okay, it depends on what you like, what kind of feeling you like, or if you like to be more flexible or faster. It's really personal preference. Better than your personal preference, which one is best? Uh, okay. What I prefer might not be what other people prefer. I mean, I really like the Cyclone Boys 4x4, but that's not very popular of a puzzle. And there's even times what I might use at a competition will change at the competition. I've actually changed puzzles in the middle of a competition because I'm just not feeling it with that puzzle and I want to change it. And so what I try to do is talk about the different qualities of the puzzle so someone can make the best judgment from themselves of what they might like. Now I understand the problem is not everyone has a bunch of different puzzles to compare to, so they want to know which one they should get. And for that I have my Meg comparison where I show a lot of the most popular ones and the ones that people might like the most. But if I say this one's best, well, yeah that one actually might sell more because more people will go, oh he says that one's the best, but that doesn't mean it's the right one that you might like. So I really want you to be able to have the best idea of which puzzle you should get by watching the reviews. And I don't usually like to do versus ones, so watching one review and then watching another, you can get an idea of how I'd feel. So as far as times, you know, your times are going to be the same almost on every single major puzzle. So don't worry about getting the wrong one by affecting your times. It's just what feeling you might like. And if you really don't know, getting one that's more of a budget one might be better because then you can branch out from there without spending $40 on a puzzle. So although some people might want me to say this is best, don't get that one and get that one, I think it'd be better with my ability to give you this content by telling you the qualities of the puzzle, if it's gummy or if it's really papery feeling or if it can allow for multiple springs or if it's really flexible or size of it, things like that that will allow you to make the best decision for yourself. Do you want to hear a joke? The cube. Come here. <sighs> Thank you for watching. Leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Hit like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. And as always, stop by speedcubeview.com for more news and reviews.